Hey guys, S2W here with your W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. Heading into the summer with the first week of June 2020, quite a few notable sneakers are releasing. Like always, there will be a button that pops up right at the top right corner of this video for you to vote cop or drop on the shoe, so make sure to do so on your favorite sneakers releasing this coming week. Let's take a look at what's dropping between June 1st to the 6th of 2020. On June 1st, or in some places, these already dropped actually. Nike is releasing the Air Force One Low Added Air for $110 US dollars at retail. This is one of those GR shoes that I actually think it looks nice, using one of the cleanest colorway and silhouette from the Nike archives. They've now added double detailing on this model using the staple white leather upper, while the rest of the shoe is essentially staying true to its original form, besides the double take theme. We will see the Air branding on the midsole copy and paste it to the heel counter of the lateral surface. The tongue is really special as well as multiple tongue patches and tabs are wrapping around the flat white laces as Dubrays to elevate the design off. Is it too different than say a regular white Air Force One Low? Not really, but if you're in the market right now hoping to get a new squeaky clean pair of Air Force Ones, this new release will definitely offer us a slightly different taste than the original. On the same beat the first, Nike is also releasing the Air Max 95 Era for $180 US dollars at retail. For its 25th anniversary, Nike has dropped quite a few alterations of the Air Max 95 for 2020, and for this release, they've added some safari theme to it. Rocking an upper made out of various materials including suede, mesh, and leather. The highlight of this sneaker though is the strip of grey zebra print leather that makes the safari theme. Color-wise, teal accents are seen on one of the strips surrounding the sneaker. Orange highlights are also seen at the inner tongue liner as well as the sock liner. A purple-colored Nike Air heel branding is stamped at the back with a multicolor Air Max logo embroidered to the tongue. The staple look of the Air Max 95 outsole with its multiple air windows is still here on this pair, and surprisingly, it will come with two extra sets of laces in yellow or purple in case you wanted to switch out the look. I'm still waiting on the re-release of the OG colorway myself, but if you're interested, these are dropping on the 1st. On the 5th, the Nike Air Zoom Type is making its debut for the first time. No release info about its retail price is out yet, so the release might get postponed, but there's still some time until the 5th for them to release more details. However, what we do know is that this is a lifestyle model altered from its running counterpart called the Zoom Alpha Fly Next Percent, which was famous for breaking the 2 hour marathon record in 2019. Two colorways will be released, including a white pair and the other a black pair with teal accents. Suede Upper is the main canvas that manufactured both shoes while the other highlight is the outsole which includes two Zoom AirPods at the forefront for a unique cushioning. Apparently, the sneaker has a full-length TPU midsole plate as well that will propel us with a more effortless stride, with foam cushioning for a stable but also plushy comfort. Other than that, we have some simple bold stitchings and silhouette of the Nike swoosh at the side for a new visual look. This is definitely one of those sneakers that might pique interest for those who want to try something new, and the unique cushioning is actually quite intriguing. On the 5th as well, the Air Jordan 6 Hair is releasing for $190 US dollars at retail. Back in the 90s, Michael Jordan has partnered up with Looney Tunes and their most iconic character, Bugs Bunny, for a film called Space Jam. Through this partnership, a few Looney Tunes themed Air Jordans were released, with the Air Jordan 7 Hair being the most popular out of the bunch. Now in 2020, it looks like the same colorway used on the original Air Jordan 7 Hair is now being brought over to the Air Jordan 6. Featuring a soft grey suede upper with white leather overlays, the sneaker is further highlighted by eye-catching pink accents over at the tongue and outsole plate. The high-sitting plastic tongue is now translucent with a familiar print seen on the Air Jordan 7 hair replicated right underneath. The lace lock is done in a milky orange shell with a Jumpman logo and a mint colored button. At the back of the shoe, we'll see a purple Jumpman logo embroidered to the leather, finished with a colorful sole unit with white, purple, pink, and green. If you're a fan of the original colorway, I'm pretty sure you'll be a fan of this Air Jordan 6 as well. Lastly on the 6th, the Jordan brand is releasing the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct 2.0 for $225 US dollars at retail. This is the second color blocking with the animal theme, and this time featuring more exotic animals. Crocodile skin, ostrich leather, and snake skin pattern upper is dressed all over the shoe, with flat wax laces threaded through the plastic eye stays. A large red Jumpman embroidery branding is stitched to the scaly tongue, while a yellow heel tab and green textured collar is really the only two vibrant colorways of their shoe. 
Even the inner tongue liner is branded with the words Animal Instinct, while the sock liner seems to have a satin-like sheen for a smooth, comfortable fit. If I had to choose, I would personally wear the Animal Instinct 1.0 with the tiger print, but if you're a collector of threes, this is definitely one with a more premium feel to it. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Make sure to click on the button at the top right corner of this video to vote Copper Drop on a shoe. And also let me know down below in the comments which headline sneaker is your favorite this coming week. I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.